Hi, I'm Dan Hardy. I studied chemical physics and I graduated in 2018. I'm just finishing a PhD now in aerosol science and I've just started a role which supports PhD students in aerosol science and I've also founded a company which helps pharmaceutical companies develop better respiratory drug delivery products. I don't really know how I ended up here. I think it's a result of following various opportunities that came up throughout my studies. There's no single one which I attribute it to. I would say that um, it's, it's about maximising the most of each opportunity. So there's various things which I can think of, little conversations here or workshops there, which all came together to present me with the opportunities which led to where I am today. The startup came from my postgrad degree. Uh, really, I saw a gap in the market in a really technical area. So I spent a long time working on technical stuff and I heard about where industry are at and I saw that there's actually a gap between what is possible and what industry are doing. And I think that it might be a good opportunity to go and try and fill that gap. The skill I use the most, especially throughout my postgrad degree, is problem solving. I genuinely think that a PhD is just a long process of solving problems and by the time you've done that enough you get the PhD. And similarly with a startup the problems change their nature but you're just always facing new things that you've not come across and actually being able to nail down what the problem is, figure out how to overcome it and then turn that into some action is a really useful skill which I definitely got through doing a science degree. Another thing that I practiced a lot in my undergrad was communicating complex ideas and telling people about your work. And that's turned out to be really important in my postgrad and also in starting a deep science business, which both rely on communicating to people why what you're doing is important and getting the details across in a concise way so that they can understand even if they're not a specialist. Understanding data has been a really important part of my journey so far, especially throughout my research degree, but also in running a business, it comes into all the small things like sorting out your finances. And that's something that I mastered in my undergrad, and it's just turned out to be so vital in every area of my work so far. I spent some time on committees of university clubs and societies, and that was really useful for me because I learned to work with people from really different backgrounds to myself to overcome challenges that weren't like those that I faced in my degree. That's turned out to be so useful for me as I've started my own business. As I speak to stakeholders from all sorts of backgrounds, and being able to work effectively has been vital for the business. Uncertainty has been a big challenge that I faced. You know, when you do your degree, you never know if you've got a job guaranteed at the end, you never know where it'll come from. But the thing that I found to be the best antidote was actually prioritization and only worrying about the things that you can actually influence. So there's so many factors which might affect you, but if you identify the ones that you can actually do something about and take action there, things usually turn up pretty good. Another challenge that I faced, especially starting a business, is long periods of unguided work that can often be really lonely. And the, the main challenge in that is that it's really hard to get the big picture. So I find taking a step back and really identifying what your goals are in the short term and the long term is really helpful. And also speaking to people, never be afraid to speak to other people, tell them what you're doing, tell them what you're finding difficult, and they'll give you a fresh perspective, which is really, really helpful. I would say to not judge myself based on the confidence of those around me. For example, I wasn't a very confident undergrad, but actually I've been able to do a PhD and I've really enjoyed it. And I've gone on to start a business, which has been a great experience. And I wouldn't have thought I'd be where I am today, back in my undergrad. And it's, it's revealed to me that actually it wasn't useful to make those comparisons. So make sure not to limit your own opportunities by making these judgments. And finally, take advantage of as many opportunities as you can. As a student, you get access to so much free stuff. You get teaching, training, and mentoring too. It's all really valuable, so make sure to make as much use of it as you can.